This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. This is the new 2020 Smart Keyboard Folio, and although it's not the coolest new keyboard case for the iPad Pro that Apple just announced, it is the only one that you can get right now from Apple alongside the new 2020 iPad Pros. In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the keyboard itself and compare it to the prior generation model to see if there are any major differences between the two. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. All right, so this video should be rather quick as there really aren't a whole lot of new changes between the first and second generation smart keyboard folios. The first thing I noticed is that the color is a bit darker than the previous generation. I could never really tell if the last keyboard folio was supposed to be actually dark gray because sometimes to me it looked more navy, but I'm colorblind so just take that with a grain of salt. Now this new keyboard actually looks more like a dark gray. It still feels like the same material on the outside, which can usually be a fingerprint or dirt magnet from my experience. Another new update to the keyboard is the addition of the Apple logo on the back, something that the previous generation oddly did not have. The last design difference is the larger camera cutout. This is because the new 2020 iPad Pros feature quite the camera upgrade, adding an additional ultra-wide camera and LiDAR scanner for better AR experiences. So even though the 2020 iPad Pro is nearly identical to the 2018 model, it's that camera bump that's going to prevent you from carrying over your last generation keyboard to the latest iPad. On the flip side, this new second gen keyboard will work with the 2018 iPad Pro models. As you can see here, I still don't have the new 2020 iPad Pro, so if I put this keyboard on the 2018 model, it still works just fine. I'm not totally sure if people are going to be running out to upgrade their keyboard specifically for this color change and the new Apple logo, but for those who want the new Magic Keyboard that is set to come out sometime in May, that keyboard will also work with the 2018 iPad Pros. The second generation, aside from those changes that we just talked about, just feels the same in every other way to the first gen. Typing is still an interesting experience for those who have never typed on this keyboard. With such minimal key travel, it's still a weird feeling to get used to, and there is a weird texture on the keys. And it still only props up to two different resting positions. Don't get me wrong, this keyboard from Apple was great when it was the only option from Apple, but after seeing what the new Magic Keyboard can do, especially with that built-in trackpad, it's really made me want to ditch this keyboard ASAP. Now, pricing still remains the same, coming in at $179 for the 11-inch and $199 for the 12.9-inch model. Of course, this is significantly cheaper than that Magic Keyboard that we just talked about, which is going to cost users $299 for the 11-inch and $349 for the larger 12.9 inch model. So if you're looking to save a bit of cash, you could always get a third party mouse or a magic trackpad or magic mouse to couple with this smart keyboard folio in efforts to basically achieve the same functionality as the magic keyboard, just not as convenient as having it all built into one case. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on the new keyboard for the iPad Pro. Did you order the new one or are you holding out for the magic keyboard or is this keyboard folio perfect for your needs? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. If you haven't heard of Motion VFX yet and you're a content creator, well, buckle up because your life is about to get a whole lot easier. You might have seen some fancy animations or graphics popping up throughout some of our videos, and as much as I would like to say that I've created those beautiful transitions and animations myself, I did not. Work smarter, not harder, with over hundreds of different plugins and templates for Motion VFX. They are hands down the best resource for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion plugins and templates. Installing a plugin is as easy as one click from the Motion VFX menu bar app, and customizing the plugins all takes place directly inside of Final Cut Pro. Just drag and drop your effect or transition into your timeline and edit from the inspector window. It's that easy. If you want a recommendation on what plugins to check out, definitely start with the Vlogger Bundle. These are the perfect set of resources for adding in some awesome intros, pop tags, social media animations, adding in pointers for tutorials, which is something I do quite a bit, and much more. Honestly, I use these plugins every day and they are a huge tool for helping me create the content faster and easier. For more information about Motion VFX and the Vlogger Bundle, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.